Today is my first day of my fall semester. It is officially my last year in community college. So I just have fall and winter and then I'm done with community. So all of my classes this semester are online. I'm taking four classes. So I'm taking anthropology, world religion, um, a one credit counseling class and then a psychology class. So I have two 16 week classes, the anthropology and world religion. And then my counseling class is eight weeks. It, it starts today and ends in October. And my psychology class starts in October and ends in December. So two, two eight week classes and then two 16 week classes. So I have already written down what I need to do for this week. I ordered my books online. Well, actually, I bought two eBooks and then I had to buy one rental book from the college store at Henry Ford. So I saved probably like $150 buying the ebooks instead of buying the actual book. Look crazy. I wrote all, I wrote down everything that I need to do for this week and I haven't started any of it because I was feeling disgusting this morning. Like I was feeling disgusting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do DoorDash for a few hours and work and then um, when I get home I am gonna start my work. This morning I had to fill out a revision request form for my um, financial aid and my loan because I looked at my um, like payment area uh, I forgot what it's called. My whatever the area where it tells you what fees you have to pay, and it said negative three hundred and twenty-three, which basically means they owe me three hundred dollars. I know it sounds confusing, but if it says negative, that means they owe you that money because you took too much of a loan. I didn't want any loan because I got a little bit of financial aid, so I was just gonna pay the rest because I don't want. I don't want to have any loans when I graduate, so I've been saving money to pay the 500 that wasn't covered by um, a grant. Filled out the form, so today when I saw it said negative, and they basically, I needed 3,000, not 3,000, 1,300. That's how much my semester costed 1,300, and they gave me 1,700. So they took, they gave me way too much and I don't need an extra loan. So I just filled out the revision request that I already was going to do. And hopefully they'll um, change my loan to zero because I don't want a loan. I just want to pay it in cash, the rest of it. So hopefully they'll accept it because the semester already started. So I'm not sure if they'll accept it or not. But I'm going to get ready to go do DoorDash. It's pouring now and I'm trying to do DoorDash and I'm getting no good orders at all. So it's literally pouring. So we'll see how this goes. I actually just decided to go home because that's how hard it's pouring and I don't want to be driving in this. So yeah, we're going to go home and probably do homework. So I am already pretty much ready. I just changed my earrings, obviously. And I'm going to go out. What was I saying again? So I'm going to go out and do some door dashes. It's been raining. It was raining for like six hours this morning. So hopefully it doesn't start raining when I'm door dashing. So I definitely got to grab like a hoodie or something. I'm currently at my grandma's. My dad and my mom and my grandma all went to northern Michigan, not all the way in the UP, but they went up north 
because my dad needs to renew his license and Secretary of State down here is closed. So they went up there for one day to stay with our friends so that they can renew his license so he can actually drive. So I'm at my grandma's because she has two cats and I don't know, she just wanted me to come over and see her cats. And we have Daisy right in front of me that is not very happy. She follows my grandma everywhere. So I seriously think she's having separation anxiety. Hi, Floof. You having separation anxiety? She's not very happy. And then my grandma's other cat, Uno, is happy. She loves me. It's probably really dark because she's a black cat. I'm gonna turn the light on. Um, that's the light. This is Mrs. Uno. Hello, Uno. Hello, Tiny. I like to call her Tiny because she's really small. So, this is Mrs. Uno. Hi, Minnie. I like to call her Tiny or Minnie because she's really small. She is just so small. And then, the cat puked on the floor. And then this is Daisy. You having separation anxiety, Floof? I also call her Floof. She, oh, I put my finger in her ear. She's not happy. She's sitting right by my grandma's chair. I'm just gonna be here for a little while with Daisy, cause she's not happy that she's alone. Like I tried playing with her a little bit. There's a motorcycle outside that scared me. Okay, so, so. I tried playing with Daisy a little bit. Hey girl. So, I'm just kind of having trouble with the fact that I don't have a set time to be in class. Like, there's no instruction at all, basically. And I know it's only been two days, but like, no one I have trouble reading, so when I'm reading, I don't comprehend it. No matter how many times I read it, I'm not comprehending it. So I need the reinforcement of talking in a class or something like that. And I don't have that at all. So it's kind of like, it's just going to be challenging because I can't just sit down and be like, okay, for two hours, I'm going to do this. Like my attention span. I don't even know if it's my attention span, but I just can't do it. Like, I have to have a set time where I'm learning, and I have to be forced to do it on top of that. So, like, if I actually go to class, that's a set time, and I'm actually forced to do it. So, I don't know. This whole thing is really shitty because so much has changed in the past six to eight months for me. It's just like insane, like going from being in class, having a set schedule, like going somewhere every single day because I like to do something every single day and then having a job and then suddenly my job is closed, my school is closed and it's like, it's just crazy. <laughs> like. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like shocking to me because I just never expected this. And since it's my last year at community, now I'm starting to think of like what, like my main thing is like how much is going to be, is how much is university going to be? And then on top of that, am I even smart enough to go to university? So it's like, do I even have the time? Because part of my thing is I always kind of stress out about how long I'm going to be in school because tiny, I always stress about how long I'm going to be in school. Like it took me three years to, it's going to take me three years to get out of community. 
and I would like to graduate with a bachelor's in two years. Like from when I start to when I graduate, I want it to be two years. And then anything that I can do in psychology, I basically need a master's. So it's like, can I even get a master's? So I kind of have two ways that I can go for school. I, what I'm thinking, what my like big dream would be is to do neuropsychology. That would be my big dream, which I'm not sure if that involves medical school or what, because I've kind of researched it, but I'm not exactly sure if I have to go to medical school or not. And it's like, if I can't do that, if that's too much money, then my backup plan for that is to be a social worker, which you need a master's to be a social worker. And they make like 50000 a year. So it's like, is that even worth it? And then it's like, if I do neuropsychology, they probably make like 80K, maybe more, I'm not sure. But it's like, if I have to go to medical school, is it even worth it? And then how long is it even going to take me to be able to get there? And then how much is it even going to cost me? Because I don't even have the money to go to... <laughs> to do undergrad, how am I supposed to do medical school if I have to go to medical school? So it's, like I've said it before, like, I don't know if college is for me, but I literally have nothing else. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I could, I could do a trade. I could just get a job and start working. But it's like, like, I feel like college is like the only thing for me because I don't, like at 20, I was working at, well at 19, I was working at Wendy's making 11 an hour, which some of you probably like, okay, 11 an hour is good, but like, can I live off 11 an hour? No, I can't. So it's like, if I don't have college, I don't know what else to do. So it's kind of like a weird thing, just in general, so. I know for sure that I will at least be getting a bachelor's and I honestly have no clue where to go from there because I don't think you can do anything with a bachelor's in uh, psychology. So yeah, just a lot of things that I am thinking about. Good morning. It's like, I think it's like 12. I am headed to there someone's um oh what's it called a wind not what wind what's it called a wind a weed whacker <laughs> someone's weed whacking <laughs> like bruh I am on my way to my si or I'm getting ready to go to my sister's um since my parents are gone you probably can't even hear me since my parents are gone, I'm bored, so I asked her if she wanted to play. Uh, a few weeks ago, she was over, and we were talking about these games that we used to play as a kid, like on the PlayStation 2, and um, one of them's called My Street, and the other one's called um, Thrillville, but for Thrillville, we used to play the... She just texted me that she's gonna be leaving now. Oh, I didn't know she was coming over. <laughs> I thought I was coming over, so she just texted me saying she's about to leave. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny. So, apparently my sister's coming over and I'm staying here. I'm down with that, it's all right. I'm like, bruh. Okay, so I guess I'm getting ready to stay at my own house. So. Uh, we used to play these, well, we used to play a lot of games on the PlayStation 2, but two ones in particular that we were talking about playing, <clears throat> it was My Street, and then Thrillville, but we want to play the, um, I think it's like the Pioneer game, where, like, you shoot robots, 
our parents didn't let us have like shooting games as a kid so that's literally all we have <laughs> as entertainment <laughs> what is that tiny you see yourself hey girl hi you're so cute she sees herself here you want to see yourself is that you is that you tiny <laughs> hi small She's so cute. Hello, girl. Yes, you are very cute. Okay, with this very yellow lighting, I am at my grandma's again. I have this like giant bump in my hair. I'm at my grandma's again because I thought my parents were coming home today, but apparently, well, today is Sunday. I thought my parents were coming home on Sunday. But apparently, they're coming home on Monday. So, t t I ended up going over to my sister's because my sister has very bad time management. So, I just went over to her house. <laughs> so, she bought me um, a lunch. Tiny's trying to get in the camera. Um, so my sister bought me lunch that we door dashed. And we played the two games that I was talking about. And, yeah. It's kind of gross, but when I was leaving to go to my sister's house, I guess I'm allergic to something because I have these, like, bumps on the back of my leg. And I don't know what it came from. So when I went to my sister's, we had to go to the store and buy Benadryl because we didn't have any at my house and she didn't have any. So I still have, I took Benadryl, but I still have the bumps. So I'm going to take it again before I go to bed. And then I did a little bit of DoorDash. And it's starting to get dark here around like 7. So I was, you looking at Daisy? Oh, you get scared? Oh, she got scared. So... <laughs> now Daisy's coming out like, what's going on? So, you want to come here? No, she doesn't. So I went out door dashing from like 6 to 8. And I made $30. So, it's pretty good. And then, obviously, I came over here. Daisy is so funny. She puked on the floor. Which is disgusting. And she keeps sniffing it and making that face that cats make when they smell something they don't like. And I'm like, you literally puked there. Like, did you expect it to smell good? I am home now and I am just taking some notes on what I read. And I think I'm going to get something to eat. I don't know what I want to eat though. So, it's about... 10 30 at night so i'm just going to do some of my reading and then we'll start my assignments tomorrow i am officially annoyed i just checked my financial aid stuff on my computer and they got rid of my loan for both semesters instead of just one semester and then on top of that I'm ineligible for half of my grant right now, and I'm not exactly sure why, so I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I checked the revision request, and I only put that I'm reject- I don't want aid for fall, but they just didn't- they just took away all of the loan, so it's like, now I gotta email them and be like- what the heck is happening? <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <sighs> I would call them, but I am scared of calling people on the phone. So, hopefully this shit will get figured out, because this is annoying the shit out of me. I am door dashing right now. I am waiting for this order. This lady literally has 44 wings, and then 44 more. So she literally has almost 90 wings 
So I, I have a feeling this order is not going to be ready and I'm going to be waiting a little bit longer. There's a person like literally right next to me. And they haven't looked over here. So that's good. But I made about, I'll make about $60 today. I've been doing this since four and it's almost eight now. So four hours and $60, whatever math that is. My parents texted me saying that they're almost at my grandma's now, so they'll be home in a little while. So, good morning. It is Tuesday, and last night I finished my anthropology homework for the week. So it was due on September 1st, so it was due today at 9 a.m. So I finished the reading. I finished, there was like three different forums that I had to do, that I actually had to think about. And then there was a quiz on top of that. The quiz I got 80% on, which I was actually kind of surprised because I knew the answers. Obviously, besides the two that I got wrong, I knew the answer, so I was kind of surprised about that. So today, I believe my counseling class is what is due next. It is due on the 4th. And it is a paper that is about what I want to be when I grow up. Literally. This is a paper that I've probably wrote like six times in my life. I feel like the issue, my issue with the paper is, is I don't think it should be what I want to be when I grow up because that sounds a little childish. I think it should be more like, um, what career am I going for? Like what career am I striving for or something like that? Like, what are, you, what are your career goals? What is your goal for college or something like that? I, when I took this class, did not know it would be essays. I thought it would be like, like projects or something. But, so that is due the 4th. And then I believe the 6th, my world religion stuff is due. And I also think that there's a research paper for that too which I'm confused about because we literally just started this semester. So how is there a research paper? Like you've told us nothing about it. So I'm confused. So I got to look into that. It is Thursday and I am out door dashing. I'm pretty sure the last two days or maybe it was just one day. I didn't film anything because I had some family things going on. So, um, yeah, so today, if I am in the area of my grandma's house, I, I'm i gonna go over and see her because when she was up north, she ends up falling down an entire flight of stairs, probably about 10 stairs, probably about eight stairs. So she's all right, she was never in the hospital, so that's a good thing. But, yeah, so she, yeah, that's one of the things. And then the other things are just not going to be spoken about. <laughs> so I'm out door dashing. It seems like it's really slow today. I'm in a different area than normal because my normal area doesn't have any peak pay. And it's slow right now. So it's about 80 degrees and I'm burning up in this fucking car. So I will update you later on. So I was in the area that was $5 and I was there for about 45 minutes and I didn't get a single damn order. So then I go to, so now I'm at, I went to see my grandma and now I'm at the area where there's no peak pay. And it's like, I'm getting so many orders, but they're all horrible. So it's like so annoying and stressful. And then on top of that, people in this area can't drive. I just got an order for five miles for three dollars and seventy five cents. It's like not worth it. It's like I am ready to just quit, but it's like 
I literally drove 14 miles and I'm getting no money so it's like stressful I'm honestly just ready to give up and go home <sighs> I just my nerves are or I'm very short tempered I don't even know what, I get agitated very easily so this is just irritating the shit out of me because I haven't done DoorDash since Monday and I have a goal of what I want to make every single month. So this month we make, um, we have five paychecks because there's, we get paid on, I'm pretty sure it says Monday in the app, but when it actually comes into my account personally, it's on Tuesday. So there is five Tuesdays this month. So technically we get paid five times this month, which is amazing. So, it's just fucking, <laughs> I'll be okay if I don't door dash today, but just my, t my, I'm agitated as fuck. I'm irritated, I'm annoyed, and I'm just ready to go home. So, I got an all right order. It's for 1.1 miles for $6, which accepting anything that's $6 really feels disgusting to me personally, because I don't like or accepting orders like that, but since it's only... A mile it'd be a mile there and a mile back that's great so hopefully we'll make some progress today